Good morning. Welcome to Aspenesis Tutorial. Today, we are going to be solving a problem involving a recycle stream and a pod stream. And as an illustration, we shall be using a simple case of ethyl chloride production. We are also going to carry out a case study on the effect of an independent variable on some selected dependent variables. Now, let's take a look at the problem statement. Ethyl chloride will be produced by the gas phase reaction of HCl with ethyl over a copper chloride catalyst supported on a silica. The reaction is given. The fish stream is composed of the compositions are given at 100 kmo per 25 degree centigrade and 1 atmosphere. Since the reaction achieves only 90 more percent conversion, the ethyl chloride product is separated from the unreacted reagent and the latter is recycled. The separation is achieved using a distillation column where it is assumed that a perfect separation is achievable. The process is operated at atmospheric pressure and pressure drops are ignored to prevent the accumulation of inert in the system. 10 kmo power is withdrawn in a pore stream W. Show the effect of the flow rate of the pore stream W on the recycled R and on the composition of the reactor feed. The last sentence in the problem statement will be tackled by conducting some case studies. Let's go back to experiences. The first step is to create a new case. We can new select a new case. Now we have to add all the components involved. We can add. I prefer to search them by formula, so I will type C2 H4 for ethylene. That is it. Click on add. Then we search for other components as such HCl for hydrochloric acid, for hydrogen chloride. So That is a two chloride. Then I have to add the inert component that is N2 nitrogen. Now the next step is to select the fluid package. In this case, we shall be making use of pen grub insane. Click on pen grub insane. Now we now have to add the reaction. Involved. We have only one reaction involved. You click on that. You can decide to change the name from reaction set one to another name. Click on that. It's a conversion reaction. You click on that reaction. We can also change the name from reaction one to another name, but just leave it like that. Now we are going to add all the components involved in the reaction. In this case, we are having ethylene. It must be noted that nitrogen does not take part in the reaction, so we are not going to add it. For the stoichiometric coefficient, we make use of minus 1 for reactants and plus 1 for product. The balance has to be 0. Now we go to the base component. Our base component, our reference now is at the And we have been given a conversion value of 90%. Put 90. So we are ready to go. We now enter the simulation, but first of all, we have to add the reaction to fluid package. Click on add to fluid package, then click on add set to fluid package. Next, we go to the simulation environment. Now, it's a good time for us to save our case, so let's do that by pressing Ctrl S and let's save it as a T chloride. Save the first step now is to add a material stream which will consist of the feed. So let's double click on the material string. Now we have to rename it to let's rename let's call it feed. Then it is fed at 25 degrees centigrade, that is the normal room temperature, and at one atmosphere. One atmosphere. Let's make the molar rate to be 100. 
as you 100 kilogram per kilogram more per then we double click for the compositions then we have to input all the composition values so these are the compositions of the material stream now we are good to go now we have to specify a mixer which, which will mix the cycle stream and the feed stream and for it to be fed into the reactor so the inlet will be the feed and let's call the recycle stream R star then the outlet is going to be fed to stage 2 which will be the reactor so let's call it S2 That, that is all what is known for the mixer for the mixer now we have to specify the conversion reactor the inlet will be s2 which is the output from the mixer then let's call the energy r duty the vapor outlet s3 is going to be fed to the third stage so the liquid outlet liquid and i keep now we have to specify the reaction that's going to be taking place in the conversion reactor then we select the reaction set so we are done with the conversion reactor what next for us is to separate the ethyl chloride produced from the unreacted reactants have to separate the ethyl chloride from the unconverted reactant so we select the mixer a splitter the inlet will be S3. While the energy stream, let's call it the S duty. The overhead, uh, the overhead outlet is going to be fed to, to the first stage. So let's call it S4. Why the bottom outlet? Let's call it P. Binary P. Unknown split. We have an error of unknown split. So that means that we have to specify we can specify the split. Since we know that we have a hundred percent recovery of a chloride from the bottom outlet. So we can do that by specifying it here. Look. So for P we have in zero one zero zero one zero. So that shows that we have in hundred percent we have in hundred percent recovery of it right from the bottom outlet of this pattern. So we have one one zero one the other side. Now, due to the formation of a large gas, nitrogen gas, here, so we have to add a splitting T in order to split out a port stream from the recycle stream. So click on T, and the inlet will be the S1, write the outlet, the outlet arrow. For the cycle and another one, I call it W. Is the first one. Double click on the cycle. The inlet is R. Why the outlet will be R star? which is connected to the mixer most of the streams are not fully defined so we have to do that under the workbook now let's go to the workbook to specify other known conditions and assumptions yeah our feed is fed at 25 degrees centigrade to the mixer 
So our recycle stream should also be at 25 degrees centigrade for optimal operation and at one atmosphere. So let's specify those conditions. 25 degrees centigrade. And pressure one atmosphere. Since we don't know the actual recycle stream yet, so for now let's set the molar flow rate of the recycle stream to zero. Now the temperature of S3 should also be at 25 degrees centigrade. That is the overhead product of the conversion reactor. And the liquid also should be at 25 degrees centigrade. Also S4 should also be at 25 degrees centigrade and at one atmosphere. Now the PIT chloride will be at 25 degrees centigrade and one atmosphere. So we specify P to be 25 degrees centigrade and pressure to be one atmosphere. Now let's assume the flow rate of our pore stream to be 10 kg more per hour. The other values have been computed and we are true. Now, let's study the effect of the flow rate of the pore stream W on recycled R and the composition of the reactor feed that is S2. We can do that by conducting some case studies. Click on no, then you go to case studies. Now we add. Click on add. Then we select the recycle string or oh, the pore string that is W. Then we click on the molar flow rate since we are more concerned about the flow rate. Okay. Our oh, better to add. We are going to add S2 and R as such. The independent variable is W, as you can see, yes. So the lower bound is 1, and let's make the high bond to, um, 20, and the step size 1. Now we have to click on run. Oh, the states are running. We, we click on the result tab to check the result. Now clearly it is not reasonable for us to specify any value above 14 kg more power for W since it is going to lead to negative values for others so anything above 14 is meaningless since the molar flow rate of r will be negative which is not supposed to be so and so it can only be between 1 and 13 those are the reasonable values so we can also create another case study. We have to study the effect of the flow rate of the pore stream on the accumulation of the inert gas that is nitrogen gas here. Then we can decide to rename the case study's name from case study one, which is given. Let's call it effect of the W on our annex to flow rate. Now we create a new one. Now let's change the name from the case to the one given to the effect on accumulation of nitrogen gas. That is the effect of the molar flow rate of W on nitrogen gas. Click on that. Then click on W. Under the variable list, we have to select the molar flow rate since we are more concerned about the molar flow rate. 
I it is the independent they will. Now we click on S2. Under the variable list, we will search for master composition molar flow. Then we click on nitrogen under the variable specs. Click on that. We do the same thing for the recycle streamer. No. The low bone, let's make it one. Why the high bone? Let's make it 13 since it is the highest reasonable value that can be assumed. We, we click on run, the states are running. So we click on the result tab. The result is displayed. The, these are the results. We can also create as many case studies as we want in that spin ISIS. Thanks for watching today's tutorial. You may even decide to watch some of my other videos. Bye.